Okay, I'm going to show you how to post an embedded image or to make a link. The first thing I need to warn you is you probably should use Internet Explorer, Microsoft's browser. I used Firefox 3. I had some problems. I'll tell you more about that as we go ahead. So we're inside WebCT now, and we're going to go into one of the posts. Let's say I want to read this post here, so I go ahead and go into that post, and of course WebCT opens a little window. And I want to say something in this post, so I'm going to push the reply button, and now I get my little reply area. Inside here, there's a button for enable HTML. I want to go ahead and enable that. It will run a small Java program. If you have problems here, again, switch your browser, try a different browser, especially IE. Now there's a couple things we need to pay attention to. One is the button here. So we are inside the HTML editor creator. That means anything we write here will look like a web page, not just like an email. Down here we have this little tab here, uh, W-Y-S-I-W-Y-G, which is called WYSIWYG. WYSIWYG means what you see is what you get. That means anything you type here is going to look like a web page. So I'm going to go ahead and type a little bit of something, and I'm going to say, maybe I want to show something about a consumer involvement. Here is an example of consumer involvement with shopping at IKEA. And then I enter, and you see it gives me a nice big space there. I could go ahead and change these words. I could make them bold, or I could make them um, larger or smaller, depending on my formatting. See, this is what you see is what you get, WYSIWYG. looks just like a web page. But what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and make an embedded video. So to do an embedded video, I'm going to need to first get my video. So let me come over to my browser where I have found a really cool video on shopping at a key. I did a search over here, and I found, uh, here's one, it's a really interesting video of Andrew the consumer and he's shopping at IKEA and I want to use this as my example so I'm going to go ahead and grab it. Now how do you grab it? On the right side over here you have two text boxes. One is for making a link but the other one is for making the embedded object and this is the one you want. Usually you click there you'll get the whole thing selected then you can go ahead and copy that embed tag. That's called an embed tag, E-M-B-E-D. Now I want to go back to my posting window, and I have my embed tag ready, so I can paste it in. But you cannot paste it in now because you're in the WYSIWYG mode. Uh, W-Y-S-I-W-Y-G. What you see is what you get. You need to change this to be source view, which shows you the actual code, because you grab the HTML code, and then you see this P and P, that means paragraph. So in between those P's, you can now paste, control V, go ahead and paste in your embed tag. Now switch back to WYSIWYG, so I click the WYSIWYG again, and we should see the video pop up. Okay, here's my text I wrote. And then here's a box. That box is the video. Now it's not going to show me the video. It's just going to give me a little square for now. So let's go ahead and do that again. Now I click after the square and do another enter. Now I can go ahead and write some more here. And let's say I want to get another video. Here, here are teens shopping in an Asian mall. And I enter, and now I want to go ahead and put another video. So again, I go back to my browser, and I want to get a video. I go to this really marvelous website called Chinese Consumer Connection. Love this site. It's really cool. And they have a cool topic here about conspicuous consumption at the mall, which centers on teenagers and consumption. And I want to look at their consumer cam. They have this really th cool thing called consumer cam, where they take videos of consumers. Love this stuff. This is so great. And I'm going to go ahead and grab that embed tag. Again, here is the embed tag. All I have to do is copy that, and I can now jump back to my posting area, and I can put it in here. But remember, I cannot paste it in yet. First, I need to go to Source View. I see the two P's, which means paragraph. In between those, I Control V, paste it in. Now I switch back to WYSIWYG, and 
And now if I scroll down, here's my first video, here's my text, here's my second video. Okay? Let's say I want to make a link. So here I'm going to type in a sentence. See the wiki on subliminal advertising. Okay? Now I can go ahead and make a link. So you just click the word. It's called a hyperlink and it goes right there. So let me do that here. I'm going to do it by pressing this button here, which is the link button. So I click the link button and I'm going to open up a new little window. And this window is asking me, where is the link? So let me go to my other browser here. I do have a link to a wiki. Oh, no, I didn't find it yet. So let me go ahead and find my Wikipedia link first. So I got to get a link. Okay, we're going to Wikipedia. Here's the wiki. And I'm going to type into here. First, I choose English. And I'm going to type subliminal advertising. And now here we have the wiki page on subliminal advertising, subliminal messages. And I can go ahead and grab that URL, do a copy of that. So I go ahead and copy it. Now then go back to my hosting page. Here we are at the posting area. Remember we had this little window pop up. And then it will ask you, do you want to upload a file or do you want to have a URL? In this case, we're going to have a URL link. So I just go ahead and paste the link in there. And then it says, what words do you want to have? So here I'm going to say, click here. And then I say, OK. And now it will put that link into my post, you see? See the wiki on subliminal advertising? Click here. And if I click there, then it would go right to that web page. One more thing we can do. Whoops. One more thing we can try to do is to uh, embed pictures or make links to pictures or put pictures into our post and make them a little bit more interesting. So let me go ahead and go inside here. Let me come up to the top here. So I come over to where I want to get my picture from. And for example, here I've gone into Google. I've looked for some pictures. And I'm actually doing something illegal. This is copyrighted, so I certainly should not do that. But here's my picture. And I can go ahead and grab that URL there. Now I can come back to my posting area, which is here. And I want to add my photo, my picture here. So I'm in WYSIWYG, which uh, is OK, because I'm just going to do a picture. And I want to push the little picture button here. And that's going to open up, should open up another window. Yes, here we go. And now I'm going to say, get that picture. File, browser, upload. I can upload it locally, or I can give it the URL. In this case, I have the URL. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I can change its size to be smaller, which in this case, that thing was really huge. So maybe I'll just make it, uh, let's say, 80 maybe I'll make it 80 by 80 oh, come on maybe I'll make it 80 80 okay that's going to be the wrong size but anyway there you go okay now Homer's come in you can see he has come in he's been sucked up and put into my page now I go ahead and I can post. Before I post, I can do a preview to really see the things I've done. And here is my text. You can see with a nice little bold. Here we have our YouTube embedded. Here's my text again. Here's my second video also embedded. Here's my hyperlink. If I press there, it will automatically open the window. And here's my little Homer picture, my homey picture that I put in there. I can go ahead and post now where I could actually save this for editing later 
or go ahead and work on it more. So let's see more of this. Very exciting stuff. Good luck.